The clash between Eduardo Gregori and Darren Elkins is probably going to happen on November 7th. It's announced, so let's see which way could this go. Darren Elkins, the damage. We can call him a valid Udo fighter, 5 for 10, 71 inch. Brown belt in BGG, also a wrestler, NCI Division 2, 24 9 is his score. One performance of the night, two times with Mirsad Bektik and Michael Johnson. Tied with Max Holloway for most fights in the UFC featherweight division 20, a real veteran of the sport. Comeback of the year 2017 versus uh, Merced Bektic. So, Eduardo Gregori is a... Sorry, Darren Elkins is a real veteran who kicked off his UFC run in, 29, in 2010 and uh, defeated uh, Duan Ludwig, for example, from harder opponents Michihiro Migawa, Steven Seeler, Hatsuhiyoki, Lucas Martins, Chas Kelly, Godofredo Pepe, Merced Bektic, Dennis Bermudez, Michael Johnson. But he is on a super cold streak with four losses in the last four outings. Decision losses to Alexander Volkanovski, Ryan Hall, Nate Landwehr, and TKO loss to Ricardo Damas. We can call this guy We can call this guy a really well rounded mixed martial artist, known for everything good submissions, good ability to fight on the ground, good takedowns. Maybe his stand-up game is not is not the greatest, but anyway, anyway, comparing comparing uh, to his uh, ground game, to his skills on the ground, but overall Darren Elkins is a very skillful fighter. On the other side we got Eduardo Garagori riding a score of 13-1. Eduardo Garagori is uh, very skillful in submissions, great submission expert and uh, overall very much uh, good fighter who outworked Humberto, Humberto Bandanay via decision at uh, UFC and ESPN plus 14 then lost to Ricardo Ram uh, Ramos via rare naked choke which makes us wonder whether his uh, skills are pretty much that good so when it comes to ground fighting Darren Elkins has uh, been submitted only by Charles Oliveira in the UFC and uh, comparing to Charles Oliveira well, Charles Oliveira is super skillful with submissions so on the ground I would give advantage to Darren Elkins anyway I mean, r good wrestling, good submission skills maybe Garagori's submission offense is better but Dar Darren Elkins submission defense is very very good so on the ground Elkins should uh, have the advantage well on the stand up I see I see Luis Eduardo Gregori, currently the greatest Uruguayan MMA fighter, as a, as a guy with uh, as a guy with uh, very very powerful powerful striking. That's how I see him. MMA is his life, so he always trains, he always improves. So if Gregori keeps the fight standing, the advantage goes to him. If uh, Elkins takes the fight to the ground, it's gonna be a bad night for Garagori. Garagori is on a one f is on a one fight losing streak. On the other side, his opponent is on a four fight losing streak. And uh, it's time for these guys to bounce back of the win. And uh, Darren Elkins is fighting for his life, you know. If he loses, he's gonna get released. On the other side, let's see how this uh, submission effect, so this, how this submission loss affected the uh, Luis Eduardo Garagori. I know you will say that I'm picking an underdog, but I say I say Garagori is gonna win this one, so slight advantage to Luis Eduardo Garagori.